Imagine a world of famine and drought, a world of extreme weather, heat, and wildfires, a world where species go extinct rapidly, forever vanishing from the face of the planet, a world in which years of our lives are cut off because of the toxic air we have no choice but to breathe, a world in chaos with hundreds of millions of climate refugees. Nobody wants to live in this world, but this is what's at stake if we do not act now to slow down climate change. So what's the current situation and where are we headed? Here's a breakdown of the United States energy sources in 2019. Slices in black are fossil fuels. As you can see, 80% of the United States energy comes from fossil fuels. Eight, zero. Fossil fuels are by far the largest contributors to climate change, so we need to transition to cleaner energy sources. Along with renewables, nuclear energy can grow and act as an ally in reducing the need for, for fossil fuels. We need to use all the tools we have. Now, more than ever, we need a cultural revolution, a cultural shift toward nuclear energy, a renaissance. Unlike fossil fuels, nuclear power is safe and clean. Hansen and Koretschka did a study calculating that nuclear power from 1971 to 2009 saved 1.9 million people because it prevented air pollution. It also is the most stable and consistent energy source because unlike most renewables, like solar and wind, it's not volatile. This energy source is important for a stable grid and without a stable grid, we will need to use natural gas to fill in the gaps, which I'm happy to explain if anyone in the Q&A asks. There are, it is the best paying, um, sorry, it offers the best paying jobs in the clean energy sector, which would grow our GDP and the middle class. Also, I believe it's important not to leave anyone behind from the fossil fuel industry. So workers from the fossil fuel industry could be retrained to work at the nuclear plant for better paying jobs. Even though nuclear energy has many benefits, most Americans oppose it. A 2016 Gallup poll found that 54% of Americans oppose nuclear energy. So I want to debunk some myths. First, there's an outdated fear of disaster. Chernobyl happened in 1986. Uh, when the Soviets cut so many corners, used antiquated technology, and just had horrible blueprints. That sort of disaster would not happen today with the technological advances. Also in the other two disa major disasters, Fukushima and Three Mile Island, they have not really been de deadly. Fukushima only killed one person from radiation, and nobody died in Three Mile Island. I want to point out that nuclear is the safest or one of the safest energy sources out there, even safer than wind. The media still depicts it as dangerous because these disasters are good juicy material for horror movies. Also, there's a myth that if you live by a, a nuclear reactor, it'll leak radiation. This is just not true. And there's an association with nuclear weapons because nuclear, the word. And although they may share a common history and processes such as enrichment and fission, they have different outcomes. One produces clean energy, the other one produces death. Those are different outcomes. However, there are some legitimate concerns uh, besides these myths. Mining, it's true that uranium mining does damage the land. Um, and there is the problem of waste. I would argue with waste that it's better to put a small amount of radioactive waste underground instead of just emitting a large amount of poison into the air that we're doing with fossil fuels. Also, there is the concern that uranium will run out in 80 years. This is true at our current rate with mining. However, we could figure out ways to extract uranium from seawater. Um, and also, we could use thorium afterward. 
it's time for a reconsideration of nuclear energy and culture. Here are three countries which have used nuclear power to their advantage. France led a government-sponsored program to be less reliant on oil, and now they have 70% of their electricity coming from nuclear energy, meaning they have a much smaller carbon footprint and are self-dependent. Uh, they will continue to build more reactors. China right now only has 5% coming from nuclear. However, they are rapidly expanding with a government-led initiative. They will build 150 reactors in the next 15 years. That's a lot. Slovakia only has four reactors, but those four are powering 82% of the country. That's how powerful they are. And they're building two more. So what's holding back the United States from doing something like this? Well, first, there is the bad reputation, which I'm trying to address now. There have been protests against nuclear. However, the youth, us, seem to be more open because of its promise for climate change. Also, when it comes down to economics, natural gas is simply cheaper in the short term. Here's a graph I made to show the difference between creating a natural gas power plant and a nuclear power plant that yield the same amount of electricity. As you can see, it takes very little money to build a natural gas power plant, and it starts making money immediately. Whereas in nuclear, you might need to take out huge amounts of debt, and it won't break even until year 12 and year 16. Now, so far, all of our plants, power plants have been traditional uranium power plants. There are three other types which I would like to introduce you to because um, they have their own benefits. There is thorium. There's an interesting story behind Alvin Weinberg, um, who is an advocate and researcher for thorium. That is an alternative fuel source, uh, which has its own benefits over uranium. We could also make smaller reactors so that the amount of debt we have to take out to build them is less. Um, and also there's fusion, which I'm not going to talk about because it's, it's got its own story. In conclusion, it's time to unleash the power of the atom in the United States. It's a safe, clean energy source that needs support from our government and businesses. When I first started researching nuclear energy last year, I was a skeptic. But after looking at the research, I changed my mind and realized that it is one of the most misunderstood topics. I hope you have learned about nuclear energy and have made up your own opinion on the matter, based on facts and not irrational fear. Thank you. Rate yourself again. What was Joel's time? Um, seven minutes and forty seconds. Ooh, well done. Okay, questions. Yes, Matt. Okay, so you say that nuclear energy is sustainable, right? Yes. But uh, no, not sustainable in the sense that. Well, it matters how you define the word sustainable. It so will run out. You said that nuclear energy is scalable. Oh, scalable. Okay. Uh, yes. But you also said that the amount of uranium we have right now will only last us 80 years. And that's without building new reactors. Yes. Going at the rate we're going, uh, uranium will run out in 80 years. So if we were to build more reactors that consume uranium, wouldn't we reduce that time even more? How is that scalable? Um, I meant scalable in the sense that it can produce more electricity. Um, uranium will run out in 80 years from mining, but we can get uranium from seawater. That's the technology that's been working on. Also, I read if, though that the uh, extracting uranium from seawater is not practical. At the moment. I think you might be talking about deuterium. Hmm. Uranium's different. That's, that's something that scientists are looking into. Also, if we run out of uranium, we can use thorium instead uh, because there's three times as much thorium. And what do we do with the existing uranium infrastructure? Well, reactors don't last forever. They last around 50 years. So then why focus on building uranium reactors right now? Because we have so, many, uh, so much reliance on fossil fuels that building these nuclear reactors would be a way to get less reliant on uh, fossil fuels. If we have to take them down in the future, that's fine. But right now, we're just focused on reducing our fossil fuel uh, dependence. Okay. Now, oh, go ahead. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. 
Renewables, often people say, well, why don't we just focus on renewables? Well, renewables have, um, they're not stable. Their output goes up and down, up and down. Nuclear can produce a consistent amount of electricity like fossil fuels can, and so that's why it's a good substitution that renewables just can't do. Yes? You mentioned how you think it would be better to store um, small amounts of nuclear waste underground as opposed to emitting um, gases into the atmosphere. How mm -hmm. do we know that the nuclear waste stored underground won't have negative effects on the environment from a down? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, the uh, problem of storing nuclear waste is something which scientists are working on now. Um, there are some proposed solutions, but we don't have a permanent solution at the moment. Um, I would like to point out that this waste is actually a very small amount of waste. Um, something interesting about nuclear energy is that uh, the size of the fuel, it's so dense. Uranium pellets, you have them in rods like this. You just put it in and it powers the entire thing. So um, the amount of waste that's generated is also small size-wise. And so the idea, uh, at least in Finland, uh, one solution they're working on is called Onkalo, where they just bury the waste uh, under this non-inhabited area um, and then seal it off with concrete. The hope is that it stays under there Scientists are working on ways to make it earthquake proof and stuff like that. And so after thousands of years, it would not be a problem anymore. But you just need to, that amount of time. That's the biggest problem is how to keep it safe for that amount of time. Yeah, two more Vivian? Questions. Um, I have a two-part question. How long do you think it'll take in the US specifically to, first of all, pass having a nuclear energy source? And then how long do you think it will take to build? So for some reason, the United States has been struggling with making nuclear reactors, uh, unlike other countries. It's cheaper to make a nuclear reactor in China for some reason. Um, so I don't know how long it would take the United States to make it. My hope is that once the government starts sponsoring these programs, that they'll start thinking long-term. If the government can think long-term, then they can start building them. And, um, it really depends. It can vary how long it takes to build a nuclear reactor because I, I can't give you a definitive answer there. Okay, but, okay. What's the second part of your question? Well, I was going to ask because at this rate that we're going, it doesn't seem like we're gonna be necessarily building one next year and we only have 80 years left before it, what, mining it is gonna use up. Um, I was just wondering how much time we would have left using that because taking it from the water, how effective is that? How much do we get from that? There is a lot of uranium in the water. Okay. Um, that development into extracting uranium is under development. Um, Currently? Yes. Okay. yes. Uh, they have done it. It's a question of making it cheaper. Okay. If uranium mining became three times as expensive, um, it would be cheaper to just get the uranium from the water. Like, we can do it, it's just expensive, mm -hmm. and that's why the cost of doing that is going up. Yeah. Last question. Avery. Um, so, according to the Build Back Better bill, there's a, we've, we have subsidi subsidies for about 20 to $25 billion to maintain the nuclear reactors we already do have. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this money is being used most effectively right now, or do you think that could maybe be used to eliminate our carbon footprint or help the environment in other capacities? I think it's good to keep um, the reactors that are going alive, because if you shut it down, it's just gonna be replaced with fossil fuels. That's what you see. And if you shut down a reactor and replace it with renewable energies, that's renewables replacing nuclear, that could be renewables replacing fossil fuels. Um, it is pretty cheap to maintain a working reactor, um, so I think it's money well spent. Now, if the reactor is very old, then it might be time to shut it down. Um, but once a reactor is going, it should last for like 50 years, and it's good to keep it going to get the full you know, energy out of it. So what would you like to leave us with? Um, I would like to leave you all uh, I would like you all to consider um, 
nuclear energy in order to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and know that together, renewable energy and nuclear are the two options that we can both use to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. And I, I would like you to learn more about this subject and to come up with your own opinion on the matter.